Hello, everybody. Um, I'm doing this as an add-on prior to making the Bible study because I forgot something. Uh, turn to 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse... Let's see. I guess we're going to start in... I guess we'll do first... No, I'm sorry. 2 Peter chapter 2. Uh, we're going to start verse 19. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than, after they had known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow, or the pig, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. I don't know how many of you have owned dogs, but I've seen dogs, you know, my dad had over 20-something dogs in the family over the years, and myself and my brother had dogs too. Well, I had a, a dog, but uh, the uh, I've seen them throw it up, throw up, and then a few minutes later, they go back and eat it back down. And uh, you can take a pig, and you can baptize a pig, or washed, and what will they do? They'll go right back into that mud, mud hole and slop around. So... Uh, this doesn't make any sense yet, but when you get to the end of the next, you know, part two, uh, well, it's, it's one continuous study, but, uh, yeah, uh, where I do dogs and hogs, dogs and hogs. All right. Keep listening. Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here. Uh, light of the world ministries in John 8 12 Jesus said I am the light of the world he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life well in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 6 Jesus said the following give not give not that which is holy unto the dogs neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. What does it mean to rend? It means to rip apart. You ever seen swine? They got huge tusks, like, you know, teeth. Uh, any of you remember the movie Old Yeller? Disney? Yeah, they killed Old Yeller. So... What does the Lord mean by don't give that which is holy unto the dogs and don't cast your pearls before swine? Well, swine, I'm not sure exactly what that means because usually in the King James Bible, the first time a word is mentioned tells you, uh, gives you the idea for the rest of the interpretation of that word for the rest of the scriptures. But in this instance, um, I'm not sure. Now, the first time swine appears in the Bible is in Leviticus 11 and verse 7. And it talks about uh, being unclean for food. Okay, so that's, you know, it's unclean for food. So don't, you know, cast not your pearls before swine, right? Now, in Matthew chapter 8, we read an interesting story. There was a man that was possessed of devils. Uh, Matthew 8 and verse 28. And when he, Jesus, and when he was come to the other side into the country of the Gadar uh, Ger 
Gerger Scenes, probably pronouncing it wrong, there met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And there was a good way off from them, and heard of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer, or allow, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine, and behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. See, even pigs are smart enough to know you don't want to be possessed of a devil. So, you know, Christ is showing us that uh, they got he's got power over even the unclean spirits, right? And they that kept them fled. Who? The, the, the swine. And went their ways into the city and told everything uh, and what was befallen to the possessed of the devils. Behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they besought him that he would depart out of their coasts. In other words, uh, we don't like what's going on here. We're afraid. Could you please leave? That's the Bob translation. All right, so let's read Matthew 7 and 6 again. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, turn again, and rend you. So what is a dog, according to the scriptures? Well, Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore, or the price of a dog, or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow, for even both these are abomination unto the Lord thy God. This is called parallelism. It's telling you that a, you know, a whore or a sodomite, then it says a whore or the price of a dog. So sodomites are likened unto dogs. So you don't want to take a sodomite's money or a prostitute's money when they throw it into the uh, collection plate because that's an abomination. Oh, pastor, please pray for me. Uh, why don't you pray for yourself? Cast the sin out of your life first. You know, so... And a, a whore is not necessarily a prostitute. Some girls don't even consider their body even worth money to be paid. I mean, you know, some just give it away for free to anybody almost. Um, I knew a couple in high school. Um, one of my buddies married one, sadly. And, uh, yeah, we thought it would be easier to mention the girl uh the guys that she didn't know than the ones that she did because yeah all i know is she knew a lot of guys over the course of her life sadly they ended up getting a divorce because uh when she got married nothing changed but uh yeah i see why the lord once wanted a guy to marry a virgin of course, you know, he should have been one too, but uh, I digress. So, does that make sense? Now, I'm not against evangelism. By no means. I'm not an evangelist. I'm a teacher. There's a difference. Other people have the gift of being an evangelist, and they should, you know, preach. But... Uh, you know, if somebody's proud, if they have a lot of pride on uh, their abomination, well, don't cast your pearls before swine. What can I tell you? So, 
that's uh that's the end of this story so all right all blessings praise glory and honor to god the father and his only begotten son jesus who is the christ the lamb slain from the foundation of the world all blessings praise glory and honor to him and him alone in jesus name amen